All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So I'm sitting over here in the uh, new studio setup here. We got the work table behind us. I'm going to be doing a video here real quickly on some uh, the Warhammer. Um, YouTube, demon they, they wouldn't monetize my video, what I did on the, the cheapest of the cheapest scope mounts. I wasn't trying to sell anything. I was just trying to show everybody something cool. Um, but let's just say this. If Kamala Harris and her newfound boy, Walls, uh, have their way, they're going to try to ban everything and anything. This dumb ass, uh, 25 years, and he wants to ban the weapon of war. Okay, she couldn't have picked a better winner. She picked the best person for the job, and I'm telling you what, everybody is ecstatic. And here's the reason why. I did. I tried to listen to her thing out there in Philadelphia, and it, it just it, it made me sick. It's made my stomach turn, and then this guy gets up, okay? And it was the worst thing I'd ever heard in my entire life. Affirming gender uh, studies, or whatever the hell you want to call it. They want to, have, uh, they want to have children have the ability to go ahead and get that surgery, get their sex changes, mutilate their genitals, that kind of thing. Um, they, for some reason, they think that the uh, Republicans are trying to prevent people from uh, getting married. And love who you want to love. That's, that's the thing I'm, I'm laughing about. This is not who the Republicans are. They are painting a picture that they're the most horrible people in the entire world. And I know the Republicans are probably doing the same thing to these guys. But what matters to you? This is what you have to ask. What matters to you? Um, are you for the extreme? And i got to be honest with you, these people are on the extreme left. I wish they would say, quit saying uh, they're extreme liberals. What are liberals that I know that are decent people? Uh, they don't have a problem with guns. They're just liberal. They think, you know, hey, uh, tax the rich, you know, feed the poor kind of thing. Uh, this guy is a communist. He is a true blown communist. He just said in his own words, hey, listen, we're going to uh, turn around, feed your neighbor, you know, um, true socialism, whatever it was, the, the statement that he made, it was absolutely ludicrous. But these are the reasons why I sat there for about five minutes and listened to his trash and listened to her spew total shit out of her mouth. Total lies. It's talking about everybody deserves a home. Everybody deserves this. Everybody deserves that. Her whole thing is the equity thing. Equity is where everybody ends up the same, not where you start. So if you start way above, I guess you have to give, give up something in order for somebody else to gain what you have. And that's called theft. That's called communism. And that's who these people are. Think about that. And I'm just, I'm not even talking about the extreme stuff. Uh, women's rights. Let's, I don't even get me started on women's rights. I guess the other little part of that equation doesn't have any rights, right? But hey, man, oh, they're going to take away your abortion rights. No, they're not. They haven't, they're haven't. they not going to do that. They left it back with the states. Nobody's going to take your plan B. As a matter of fact, I wish they'd make plan B like Pez dispensers and drop them off in a neighborhood so some people couldn't re reproduce because you don't need to be re reproducing. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it just come on, man. Absolute lies, absolute trash, absolute this. The media has got to stop with the BS. This woman's been on the road for 15, 16 days and hasn't answered a single freaking question to save her life. Other than she says, we need to be the wokest of the wokest. The woker the better. I call them turd muffins, honestly. It makes me sick. That's my opinion. I, I was sitting there trying to do a video on gun stuff because I'm trying to be gun related. I got the flamethrower. If you watched towards the end of the last video I just put out, yeah, that flamethrower was bad to the bone. In any case, I was watching all the videos going out and I'm just like, I, all right, I got to do something because this is absolutely ludicrous, man. Yeah, Kamala Harris, you couldn't have done a better job in picking a bigger turd than yourself. The guy's not even handsome. I mean, for God's sakes, isn't that what the prerequisite for, well, uh, <laughs> I used to think Kamal was hot. Of course, I used to think Rachel Maddow was hot too, until she got her Adam's apple. So anyway, y'all give it some thought, man. Tap your friends who are thinking on the other side of the fence and let them know no one's gonna take your rights away. Oh my God, did your rights get taken away when Trump was uh, elected before? Other than the bump stop. <laughs> but hey, man, you know what? His Supreme Court 
got it back in, plus our reset triggers. Long term, think about that. It's KB32. The turn in charge, if she wins this election, our lives, if we know it, are going to be a challenge. Because anybody who thinks like they do have got to screw loose. It's KB32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to everyone does so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Her freedom is not free. That dude was in the National Guard for 25 years. You know what? I was in the Guard. Our first sergeant was the head of the ABC store. <laughs> I showed up there. Sergeant Ladder, party order, sir. It's a John, good to meet you. Not saying anything else, man. But Jesus H. Louise. And the great infamous words, and it's still one of my good friends. The real cover burnout. He always ends up, boom. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.